Hello, Divine Feminine. Welcome to your weekly reading. So, Divine Feminine, I'm going to be pulling in on some general energies, love, as well as career messages. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. Remember that this is a timeless reading. So, whenever you click on this video, that is when these messages could resonate the most. Also, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. Um, just a little disclaimer, my niece, my mom, you know, they're here. So, you may hear some talking, some noise. So, I just would like to apologize in advance. So, let's go ahead and jump right into your messages. Please remember to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. Spirit, give me some overall energy for the Divine Feminine. Overall energy for the Divine Feminine. Oh, okay. So I have encouragement number 54. So I'm going to go ahead and read and see what that is talking about for you, Divine Feminine. So encouragement, it says you are receiving a nudge in the right direction. Okay, this card tells you that you're being gently encouraged to step into your power, into the dream of your life. New things are out there to be explored and the nurturing power of the universe is giving you a nudge in the right direction. You will get the help you need and won't be alone in your quest. Every step you take right now is supported by the wisdom of the universe. You are on the right path. Keep going. So, okay, Divine Feminine. So, whatever direction you are currently headed in, knowing, know that you're being supported by spirit. Um, and you're on the right journey. You're moving in the correct direction. Um, I heard fear for some of you. Like, don't operate out of fear. You know, embrace the unknown. Because... I heard all is possible. Um, believe in the impossible. You are literally going to be living your wildest dreams as long as you continue to follow divine guidance and take a chance on yourself. So let's go ahead and get some more energy. Spirit, give me some more energy for the divine feminine. Okay. Look at what I have. Distractions. Give me some more messages for the Divine Feminine. Okay, fresh air. And one more for the Divine Feminine, please. One more message for the Divine Feminine. Oh, okay. Bondage. Okay, Divine Feminine. So I feel like for some of you, you're definitely being asked to release certain people out of your energy, like with this distractions. I feel like there is someone or a certain group of people that may be trying to take you off your path. For some of you, this is family. I feel like... um you're definitely moving towards your calling. And I'm looking at like this ring on her finger and it's giving me like the higher fun energy. So I feel like whatever this is, this is like your divine calling. Like you are being married literally to this cause. You are um, becoming entrenched in your purpose. But there are people who are trying to create blockages for you. So it's like with this fresh air, you're being asked to take a breather, take a step away from the situation from these people because it's like you'll be able to see clearly once you remove yourself because they want you to be in bondage because these people are in bondage they feel stuck you know they're not happy with their lives they're not trying to find their purpose these are people that just want things um, given to them very easily but it's like you're willing to do the work again you're willing to take a risk on yourself spirit spirit clarify distractions for the divine feminine Clarify distractions for the divine feminine. Okay. So look at what I have behind the scenes. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. Things are happening that you can't see. Yeah. So people are trying to do things behind the scenes to distract you, to delay you. Yeah. And you just... You're not really paying attention because I feel like you're so focused on yourself. But there's a lot of things going on to create delays, obstacles in your life. Tell me more about fresh air. I'm literally like hearing like a witch hunt. Like these people are literally like on a witch hunt, divine feminine. 
I heard um, I'm hearing um for your glory by um Tasha Cobbs for some of you you may want to go listen to that song I have the grass was fake the grass was greener because it was fake so yeah I feel like by you stepping away from these people from the situation that's how you're going to be able to see their true colors that's how you're going to recognize their true intentions and that they're not really for you give me some and for some of you with this nudge i feel like this is spirit nudging you away from a particular group of people nudging you into a new direction because god understands that you're not going to be able to fulfill your calling if you stay in the same situation if you continue dealing with your current circumstances tell me about bondage for the divine feminine Bondage for the Divine Feminine. Okay, what do I have? Look at this. Altercation. A physical altercation may break out. So yeah, they're trying to create a lot of chaos in your life. They don't want you to move ahead. They want you to stay stuck. They're trying to bring drama to your door to keep you bound to a situation so that you won't be able to move. So that you continue to be in mental and physical imprisonment. So that's why God is nudging you. That's why you are being removed. You may not see it now, but by and by you will understand just how much of a hindrance the situation this person serves to you. So you're being asked to get a breath, a breath of fresh air. Remove yourself. Take a step back. And look at the situation from a different angle. Because, yeah, somebody's definitely trying to create a lot of drama in your life just to keep you stuck to them. They don't want you to move forward. This person feels imprisoned. So they want you, like, misery loves company. They want you to be bound as well. Somebody doesn't want you to grow. They're trying to block your evolution. So just make sure you're paying attention to your intuitive nudges. And, you know, when spirit says go, you go. When spirit says stop, you stop. You know, just understand that you are being nudged on a brand new path. All you have to do is just be open to taking those steps, actually moving um, in that direction and not sitting still, not, you know, sitting in the same situation, expecting different results. You have to be open to change. So Divine Feminine, let's go ahead and tap into some love energy for you. Spirit, give me some love messages for the Divine Feminine. Love messages for the Divine Feminine. Love messages for the Divine Feminine. Okay. I have playfulness. It says, laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. So I feel like you're being asked to be um, like free spirited. Yes, to have a very free spirit, um, to enjoy your partner for those of you that are in a relationship. But whether you're in a relationship or not, I'm also getting the message like with this playfulness like learning how to enjoy yourself for some of you i heard like time alone um learning how to be alone and be happy with um who you are as a person i heard that's how you call in love so for some of you you may be asked to um i heard like remain single for some of you you may want to remain single um and in order to heal in order you know for your soul's growth I feel like there's some work that God wants to do on you and the only way um, this work can be completed for someone is if you remain single like God is preparing you for your soulmate but it's like you have to be alone in order to um, receive this preparation that message is specific for someone let's get some more energy spirit give me some more energy for the divine feminine Give me some more energies. Okay, so I have third party. Let's fix the cards. I have lessons. Let's get one more. One more message for the Divine Feminine. Look at this. Movement. 
Okay, so I feel like for some of you, you could have been involved in a situation where you were not the only person and, and they were seeing someone else behind your back. I heard backstab and betray, but this whole situation served as a lesson. Um, and again, I heard heal. Yes, um, love is the greatest healer. So for some of you, um, you're practicing self-love or you're being encouraged to practice self-love. I'm looking at this book that um, she has open. So I'm like hearing... Um, the divine say learn more about yourself so you really need to learn more about who you are and what it is that you truly want when it comes to relationships so that you can move forward i feel like once you accomplish um this lesson um once everything is complete then things are really going to start to move fast for you there's going to be a huge shift when it comes to your love life let's go ahead and get some more energy spirit tell me more about third party Tell me more about third party for the Divine Feminine. Third party for the Divine Feminine. What flipped over? Look at this. Forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. So yeah, you're definitely being encouraged to forgive this person, to forgive yourself for, you know, the decisions that you have made. Like, don't beat yourself up because I know a lot of times, you know, and I have done it myself, you know, we'll be like, oh, I shouldn't have done this. Maybe if I didn't do that, that wouldn't have happened. Like, you really start to look at, you know, the actions that you have taken and thinking like, okay, well, maybe, you know things could have been different or I wouldn't have went through that situation had I not dealt with this person had I paid more attention to the red flags but it's like sometimes I'm getting like you have to go through in order to get through so some you have to experience experience is the best teacher that's the only way we learn that's the only way we grow so like forgive yourself for the choices that you have made and forgive this person as well don't hold on to any grudges you know because that blocks your blessings and that blocks your for movement Let's get an energy for lessons. Spirit, tell me about lessons for the Divine Feminine. Lessons for the Divine Feminine. And I apologize for the noise. Um, we are getting our grass cut. Tell me about lessons. Lessons for the divine film. Okay, what do I have? Wait, the timing is not quite right. Yeah, so for some of you, you still need to learn some more lessons. Um, you still need to go through um your self-discovery process. I'm just getting like, don't rush it. Like, don't rush your growth. You know, take your time to learn, to learn more about yourself. And I'm also getting to learn more about this person for those of you who are already involved with someone. Take your time. Make sure it feels right. Pay attention to your intuition. Tell me about movement for the Divine Feminine. movement for the divine feminine what do i have look at this divine feminine abundance you've done the work abundance flows to you now exactly that's what i was saying once you learn your lessons once you have healed you have grown you're going to experience a lot of great fortune and that fortune isn't just you know material but fortune is it is also love um peace overall happiness I'm also hearing embrace stillness. So just um, embrace the the opportunity to kind of just slow down. Like don't be in a rush. Like yeah, the timing isn't quite right. Embrace stillness. So yeah, don't be so so in a rush to move to the next level. Just be patient and take your time. Embrace stillness. Like embrace this time where you're alone by yourself reflecting 
because you're going to get what you want in the end and again things are going to take off very quickly for you abundance opportunity is going to flow to you very easily and quickly divine feminine so let's go ahead and get into some tarot spirit clarify third party and forgiveness clarify third party and forgiveness for the divine feminine third party and forgiveness for the divine feminine please clarify okay what do I have? All right, so I have the moon and I have the king of cups. So somebody could have been, I heard like ice cold. So somebody could have been very cold to you, emotionally unavailable. And there was definitely a lot of things hidden that you could not see you were very unaware of and i'm just getting like a sneak attack i feel like whatever information came out it just snuck up on you very unexpectedly for some of you you could have been dealing with a pisces cancer we have king of cups so for some of you definitely a water sign scorpio i feel like somebody like they came under the pretense that they were offering love, but in actuality, all they were offering was a good time, a one-night stand, you know, sex, just the physical component of a relationship. But they came towards you as if they was offering something stable. Yeah, look at this Ace of Wands. For some of you, this person could have like been love bombing you, telling you what you wanted to hear, but all along knowing that they only wanted one thing for some of you this person was only was um highly attracted to you they were attracted to your looks but that's all they could see they couldn't really see beyond that they couldn't really see the value in you the value in your relationship and it's like they move very quickly or they wanted to move very quickly like this person didn't want to take their time to really get to know you tell me more about the moon for the divine feminine the five of cups in the reverse and the ten of swords so yeah there was definitely a huge betrayal there was definitely a huge betrayal but i feel like with the five of cups you've learned from this experience and i feel like you're looking ahead um with the ace of pentacles and the high priestess um i'm getting that you're now seeing the bigger picture. You now see the bigger picture as to why something didn't work out. As to why, you know, you did not receive a commitment from this person. You're definitely no longer crying over spilled milk. Like you see the blessing in this whole situation. Tell me more about the five of cups in the reverse. Yeah, temperance. You balanced out your energy. You could have Sagittarius in your chart or be dealing with the Sagittarius. But you balanced out your energy. And it's like now, um, I heard Gemini, love the lovers, I heard you're waiting for your true love. Like you're recognizing that someone or something just wasn't for you. And you've healed. You move beyond the situation, beyond the betrayal. For some of you, you learned about this on social media. Tell me about the King of Cups in the reverse. King of Cups in the reverse for the Divine Feminine. The King of Wands in the reverse. So yeah, um, this person, they weren't taking any action. Yeah. For some of you, this person slighted you. Yeah, they didn't even move in your direction. I feel like with the Seven of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Wands, like I'm hearing like this person felt like they knew all that they needed to know about you. And that's why they put their guards up and it caused the cycle to close out. I feel like for some of you, like this person didn't even give you a chance. Again, they really didn't want to get to know you. They were just looking, you know, on a physical level, on surface level, um, they really did not probe deeper. But I heard it was just a missed opportunity for this individual. Tell me more about weight and lessons. 
weights and lessons for the divine feminine i have the three of wands in the reverse and the hermit in the reverse so i feel like for some of you like going through this experience has definitely helped you to speak up more for yourself you learn how to speak up more for yourself state your needs the things that you desire the things that you want and you also learn how not to wait around how not to wait on someone to change on someone to give you what you want it's like you're no longer waiting on love or you're no longer looking for love outside of yourself you're learning how to give that to you you're learning that the best love, true love, is the love that you can give to thyself. Tell me more about the Three of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, look at you. For some of you, be a Virgo, Aquarius, Pisces. Yeah, but I feel like you have learned how not to wait around and to just move on and to trust your intuition. Not to go against your intuition, not to um, discard those intuitive nudges, but you're listening more to yourself, paying attention, you know, to the divine. And the messages that you're receiving, the inklings that you receive. And this is giving, and this is putting you in a more free spirited energy. You're looking at the lighter side of life. You're no longer looking at like the glass being half empty, but you're looking at it being half full. And like, how can I add to it? And not looking at a situation as a loss. Like, no, I've gained. I've learned more about myself. I've gained a sense of self. So this person has definitely helped you when it comes to your soul's growth. Tell me more about the hermit in the reverse. The hermit in the reverse. Look at this. The magician. Come on, Divine Feminine. Whatever you've been through, it fully puts you in your power. Yes, for some of you, you are very spiritually inclined. You can manifest rapidly, um, highly intuitive. Like you can see beyond the veil. For some of you, this was a spiritual lesson. This was helping you with your spiritual growth. You could be a, a Gemini. Again, heavy on the Virgo. But yeah, this person has helped you evolve spiritually. Um, they've helped you become more at peace with yourself. They've helped build your confidence. Just by you going through the situation, it has completely changed you. Give me some energy for abundance and movement. Abundance and movement for the divine feminine. Abundance and movement for the divine feminine. The two of wands. I feel like with this two of wands, I'm just getting like taking your time. So for some of you, you're learning how to take your time. I feel like you're fully focused on yourself. Your projects, your endeavor, creating. Um, there is someone who does desire you, Divine Feminine. Somebody is watching you, literally. This person watches you. I heard stalks. So th there is somebody who wants to come in um, because they see you as wish fulfillment. They see you as somebody who they can have a family with. They're highly attracted to you. And I heard Wade, I feel like because like you have the strength, you have the um, willpower to wait on what it is that you want. And for some of you, you're finally getting it. You're not in a rush. Tell me more about abundance and movement for the divine feminine. Abundance and movement for the Divine Feminine. Look at this. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody's coming in with a love offer. Somebody wants to give to you. Tell me more about the Two of Wands. Look at this. Six of Pentacles. You waited for what you actually deserved. You waited or you are waiting on what you actually deserve. 
you're not trying to move forward towards anyone towards any situation if it's not in alignment with you if it's not what you want you're waiting on equal give and take you've learned your lessons you know your worth and you're not settling you want somebody who's going to fully invest into you time energy resources tell me about the knight of cups for the divine feminine the knight of cups for the divine feminine the divine feminine what do i have the four of swords okay so there is somebody coming in but they're stressing out yes they are definitely stressing out about coming towards you they're worried about being rejected how you're going to respond to the offer yeah this person is moving towards you six of swords for some of you you're not um in communication with this person but i feel like with this two of pentacles this person is no longer resisting you or resisting this connection this person is surrendering. They're giving in to like who you are. They're recognizing like what you can have with them. They want to come in and build. But somebody is stressing like um, I'm I'm looking at how her hand is over her stomach and her like the pit of, of my stomach. So somebody could, you know, be experiencing some stomach issues because they're so nervous. But somebody does want to come forward and make you an offer. Let's get some additional messages for the Divine Feminine. Additional love energy for the Divine Feminine. So I have, don't lose yourself or give up on your goals, dreams, or passions in life. So yeah, that's what you had to learn, how not to overgive, how not to give up on the things that you want just because you're in a relationship. Because sometimes that happens, you know, we get, our judgment gets clouded, you know, because we're in love and we're in this relationship and we want it to work. And I've been there, I have been there and it's like, you put down what it is that you want to do and it's kind of like your life literally, you know, is, is surrounded by, or I should say, well, what am I looking for? Your life becomes completely about that individual and it's like their goals and the things that they want to do and you forget about your own goals the things that you want to accomplish and that's what you had to learn how to not lose thyself when it comes to a relationship how to still put you know the things that you want to do at the forefront give me another energy for the divine feminine Another energy for the Divine Feminine. Another energy for the Divine Feminine. What do I have here? Show him some love. Give him compliments. So yes, as you get into a new relationship or if you recently got into a new relationship or you're already in a connection, make sure that you know you're Treat someone how you want to be treated. If you want to be complimented, if you want to be loved, adored, then, you know, give that same energy to your person. You know, don't expect for a relationship just to be one-sided. It takes two. Everything has to be equal give and take. Six of Pentacles. Both of you have to give and receive when it comes to a connection. So just make sure that, you know, the person you're connected to is doing their part and that you're also doing your part, Divine Feminine. So let's go ahead and pull some career energy for you. Give me some career messages for the Divine Feminine. Career messages for the Divine Feminine. 
Okay. Oh, I have the tower. Okay. Scorpio energy. A major ending, a major shakeup, major conclusion to a situation. Tell me more about the Divine Feminine's career, please. Messages for the Divine Feminine's career. The four of Wands in the reverse. So I feel like for some of you, you're not happy where you are. Um, you're not happy where you have planted your seeds at. Yeah, Five of Wands. There's definitely a lot of conflict and chaos going on around you. Yeah, it's a lot of upheaval. There's definitely going to be a major ending to a situation. For some of you, you could be surrounded by very toxic and I heard envious people. Give me some more energy for this tower. Yeah, four of pentacles. So I feel like for some of you, you may be experiencing like um, a lot of selfishness. And again, I heard jealousy. Like people, it's kind of like you're being shortchanged. You're not getting what you deserve from this company. They're not paying you what you deserve. It's like somebody's trying to hold back. Somebody's trying to block your blessing. Somebody don't want to give to you. Somebody don't want you to receive. I heard the recognition that you deserve. Somebody wants to keep it all for themselves. I heard somebody don't feel like you deserve it. Tell me more. The six of wands, I can't make it up. Somebody don't want you to receive recognition. Somebody don't like the attention that you get. Somebody's in their feelings. Somebody wants it all for themselves. They don't want you to be celebrated. Give me some energy on this Four of Pentacles. For the Divine Feminine. Energy on the Four of Pentacles for the Divine Feminine. Four of Pentacles for the Divine Feminine. What is this? Look, the Six of Swords. So somebody wants you to leave. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Somebody's like, can you leave the company? Somebody just wants you to go away. Because it's like, whatever attention you get is taking attention off of this person or off of these people. So somebody wants you to leave. Somebody just wants you to go away. Somebody don't want you to be there. But it's like, luck is on your side. It's like the will of fortune. It is like your time to shine, Divine Feminine. Like, no one can stop this. I do feel like they're trying to delay you. Somebody's trying to delay um, things coming towards you when it comes to your career. They're trying to delay an opportunity for you. Somebody don't want you to get something. Somebody just is really trying to hold on to it for themselves. Somebody feels like they deserve it more than you do. Give me some energy for the four of wands in the reverse. I heard no happy family. So yeah, it's like wherever you are, like, yeah, but there's no happy family. I feel like I heard pretending. I feel like people are just pretending. Two of pentacles. Yeah, people are just pretending. Um, Literally like a juggling act. People can't really make up their mind. For some of you, I'm getting people can't make up their mind about you, Divine Feminine. Um, there may be people like questioning who you are. I feel like this person is at the forefront and they have people questioning like who you are, whether or not you deserve an opportunity. Like people are in their head about you, like going back and forth. Tell me more about the Four of Wands in the reverse for the Divine Feminine. The Four of Wands in the reverse for the Divine Feminine. What do I have? Yep, the Three of Swords. Somebody wants to betray you. Somebody wants to betray you. Somebody's literally working on seeing how they can backstab you. Again, no happy family. Like, people are pretending that they're for you. Like, you know, they want to see you succeed, but they don't. And for some of you, this is multiple people. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. Three of Pentacles. They're working together. Yes, they want to keep you stuck. 
But some of you, they want to blind you to the fact that they don't like you, that they're trying to create a lot of chaos in your life. But the Ace of Swords, the truth is here. Whatever is hidden, the moon is getting ready to come out. Whatever delays somebody has tried to call you because Queen of Wands, you're fully in your power. They don't want an opportunity, Ace of Cups and Reverse, to be given to you. They want you to miss out. Yeah, somebody's very um jealous. There's a lot of secret competition at your job or whoever this resonates with. Tell me more about this two of pentacles for the divine feminine. Look, we can't I can't make this the seven of swords. Somebody is planning, plotting, trying to think of how they can betray you. And I'm getting like this person or these people are trying to do it multiple ways. Like they want to hem you up in every direction. Yeah. I'm getting something about some money. Um, be very mindful, especially if you work like in the finance industry or you deal with money. I feel like somebody's going to take some money, Divine Feminine, and blame it on you. And they're going to leave clues, but the clues are going to point back to you or that's what they're going to try to make it do, point back to you. Be very mindful. Again, no happy family. Like this isn't your family. This isn't your gang gang. No, these people don't care about you. They're trying to hem you up in any direction they can. Tell me more about the five of swords because they're in competition with you for some of you this person or, or these people are competing for the same position tell me more about the five of wands for the divine feminine yeah there's definitely some about money here yeah like if you work with money just be very mindful count your drawer i heard your till like if you're like a cashier like whatever or Whatever you do in finances, banking, like count your money, like make sure that her reconcile, like whatever you do with money, make sure that like you dot your I's, you cross your T, like your, you cross your T's, like you have proof. And then look at here, the higher fund. So I feel like um there is a higher up that is going to get involved. Tell me more about the five of wands. Tell me more about the five of wands, the king of wands in the reverse. So for some of you, you're dealing with some people or a person that's really lazy. Yeah, they're really lazy. The emperor's in the reverse. I'm getting she work hard for the money. So this person don't like to work hard for anything. They just want everything given to them. Yeah, be very mindful of somebody stealing your work as well. But I have the moon, so it's kind of like what's being hidden. It's like somebody's literally the empress in reverse. Like somebody's very lazy. Somebody wants the attention, the recognition without doing the work. But it's like with the high priestess, you're on to this. You see the truth. Somebody don't like to work. Eight of pentacles in reverse. Literally, somebody don't like to work. Yeah, somebody like, I'm just getting like with this fool, like somebody likes to goof off, play around, like pretend they're working, but they're really not doing anything with their day. It's like they do what they want to do. Give me some energy for the higher fun, for the divine feminine. The higher fun for the divine feminine. Yeah, they like goof off at work. What do I have? The Knight of Cups. So yeah, somebody's trying to stop an offer from coming towards you, Knight of Cups. But with the Four of Cups and the Hermit in the reverse, it's like it's going to be given to you anyway. You're receiving an offer anyway. Regardless, okay, so somebody's going to be rejected. Somebody's going to be turned down and the offer is going to go to someone else. And Spirit says that someone else is you. I feel like with the Five of Cups, like, you're not, you're not even going to be worried about whatever it is that you had to go through. Because in the end, you're going to come out the victor. I feel like with this Two of Swords, like, I heard, like, um, blindly. So it's like, whatever this person is trying to do, it's like they don't really see 
this new opportunity or this being given to you divine feminine yeah because this person feels like they are they creating some type of ending in your life death they're making things hard for you this could have been somebody trying to talk about you spread lies about you to like sway how this higher fun energy towards energy looks at you tell me more about the higher fun Yeah, somebody like was talking about you, trying to make you look like in a certain light. But look at here, Ace of Swords, but the truth is here. So like this higher font um, is somebody of like dignity, morals, character. So this is somebody that can't be swayed. This person sees the truth. They know the truth or they're definitely going to find out the truth. Like this person walks by the truth, truth, light. This person has full clarity. So this isn't somebody that can be brought. This person is going to do what's right. Tell me more about this King of Wands in the reverse. For the Divine Feminine. The King of Wands in the reverse. Look what came out. Come on, the Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. When I tell you this person's so lazy, they don't do absolutely nothing. They just play around at work. Um, yeah, lolly gay. They ain't really putting in no effort. This person does absolutely nothing. And this higher fun energy can see that. They may not say much, but they're definitely paying attention to what's going on around them. And again, like they're honest they walk in truth they're going to do the right thing divine feminine so you have nothing to worry about with the fool and the lovers at the bottom of the deck and the hangman yeah somebody is enlightened whatever you're moving towards like this is a part of your purpose your destiny this is going to be a brand new beginning for you i'm getting the gospel song um, what God has for me, it is for me. What God has for me, it is for me. So Divine Feminine, I would definitely go and um, listen to that song. Um, and I'm also hearing, don't worry, be happy. So you have nothing to worry about. Don't let anyone or anything steal your joy. I mean, it seems like just a lot of chaos going on around you. But you just continue to remain in a healthy um, and pure energy. Again, this person sees they're paying attention. You just continue to do you and, you know, focus on your work. Continue to vibe high. Give me a message for the Divine Feminine. Message for the Divine Feminine. What do I have? Peace. Yeah. I heard God is restoring you to peace. Yeah. God is bringing peace in your life on every front, you know. And, you know, in order to get peace, you know, we have to go through the storm before we can make it to dry land and so for some of you that's all it is you're going through the storm right now you may be facing challenges divine feminine but it is leading you to peace give me one more message please for the divine feminine one more message for the divine feminine one more message for the divine feminine what do I have? I am determined. So yes, yeah, stay motivated, encouraged. Don't give up. Don't give up. You're being nudged to continue moving forward. It's going to get you far. It's going to get you where you need to be. And you're going to end up having more than you anticipated. Divine Feminine, just stay encouraged. Continue moving forward. Don't let nothing or anything block you. Block your progress. You are on the right path. So Divine Feminine, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.